Hey guys, and welcome on into today's MLB video play of the day. If you guys are interested in getting more pick content, be sure to head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which is linked down in the video description. Over at our main site, you can access our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence premium bets. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel for more of this pick video content in the future. Heading into today's video, going to be talking about a matchup here between the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants as the Mets continue their West Coast trip. Unfortunately for the Mets, they had a tough time in their opening series getting swept across four games by the LA Dodgers have been having themselves a very strong year up to this point. But the New York Mets find themselves here in this series against a bit more manageable of an opposition taking on the San Francisco Giants who sit in the basement of the NL West. The Mets were able to get their bats going last night in San Francisco, and that's a good sign for New York. This is a team that has certainly needed to lean more on their offense than their pitching this year to get the wins. Their offense has at times ranked uh, in the top 10 in baseball and run scored, but right now they rank more middle of the pack, 16th in all of baseball in total run scored. And it's kind of a surprise this year that the New York Mets have had to lean more on their offense than their pitching, given the fact that coming into the year, this was expected to be one of the top rotations in all baseball. Unfortunately for the Mets, they've had a very tough time uh, staying healthy with their starting pitching staff. And as a result, this group ranks 28th in baseball in total team earned run average. The Mets, however, are going to be sending out one of their better starters today, right-hander 29-year-old Jacob deGrom. On the year, although deGrom's numbers have been higher than his career totals, he's still been one of uh, the best New York Mets starters up to this point, sitting with a 3.94 ERA, 106 strikeouts, and a 1.33 whip across his 14 outings all coming as starts. In his last outing, uh, DeGrom looked very strong at home against a good or a great Washington Nationals offense as DeGrom posted eight innings, giving up three hits, zero earned runs, two walks to six strikeouts. And across his last two starts, coming against both very capable offensive teams in Washington and the Chicago Cubs, DeGrom has gone at nine innings and eight innings respectively in each of those outings, looking much better uh, as of late as comparison to his two outings prior to that where he wasn't even able to get to the fifth inning in either of those starts. So DeGrom is coming into this start today against a very um, weak San Francisco Giants offense coming off of two strong starts that should give him momentum coming into this one today against the Giants. The Giants, they've really struggled throughout the campaign thus far. The Giants have been a very big disappointment sitting in the basement right now of the NL West along with the San Diego Padres in an NL West division that's very top heavy. The Los Angeles Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks, and Colorado Rockies are in a three-way horse race at the top of the division sitting just a almost flip the record of the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants and you get the records of those other three teams that I just mentioned. The Giants have had their issues on both sides of the ball, uh, especially offensively. Right now, this group ranks 27th in baseball in total runs scored, uh, while their pitching staff ranks 22nd in baseball in total team earned run average. That's not a great number there. Uh, you always expect the Giants not necessarily to have the best offensive numbers given the ballpark that they play in, but uh, as a result of that, you also expect their pitching numbers to be towards the top of all baseball. That just hasn't been the case this season, and part of that, has been because Johnny Cueto hasn't been pitching up to his career numbers. He's sitting over a full um, run per game on his or on his ERA is sitting over a run more than what he's posted throughout his career. Sitting with a 4.42 ERA with a 1.3 WHIP. Cueto was a bit better in his last start. However, it came on the road against the Atlanta Braves where he logged seven innings, giving up five hits, two earned runs, zero walks to four strikeouts. That was a lot better than his prior outing, which came at home against the Royals, where Cueto gave up ten hits, five earned runs, as well as three walks and three home runs in that start. So in his last outing at home, Cueto was very shaky. Not a great start there for the 31-year-old right-hander. Heading into today's matchup, we do give the Mets... Uh, the nod in terms of the starting pitching advantage and also just in terms of overall offensive production we give the nod to the Mets here today and right now with this sitting at almost a pick 'em, you can get the Mets uh, somewhere between about 
plus 100 and minus 110 straight up on the money line. We feel like that's going to be a pretty strong value bet today. So we're going to go ahead and side with the road team taking the New York Mets to get the job done in San Francisco this evening as they go on to win this one straight up. And that's going to be our MLB video play of the day again, guys. If you're interested in getting more of this pick video content in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And for more pick content, head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which is linked down in the video description over there. You can access our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence premium bets. So thanks, guys, for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.